For the general debate of the 78th session of the United Nations General Assembly taking place in New York. The theme for this session is rebuilding trust and reigniting global solidarity, accelerating action on the 2030 agenda and its sustainable development goals towards peace, prosperity, progress and sustainability for all. The UN Secretary General warned that the world is becoming unhinged and called for clear and decisive reforms. We are inching ever closer to a great fracture in economic and financial systems and trade relations, one that threatens a single open internet with diverging strategies on technology and artificial intelligence and potentially clashing security frameworks. It is high time to renew multilateral institutions based on 21st century economic and political realities rooted in equity, solidarity and universality and anchored in the principles of the United Nations Charter and international law. Presidents scheduled to deliver addresses were called to the podium one after the other. Their presentations described their individual perspectives on the world's problems and their solutions. We stand with the, with the African Union and ECOWAS and other regional bodies to support constitutional rule. We will not retreat from the values that make us strong. We will defend democracy, our best tool to meet the challenges we face around the world. If we continue to prioritize national interests, private interests, or just some particularistic interests of individual actors, and leave the resolution of global problems on the sidelines, we will extinguish ourselves as a civilization. In his inaugural appearance at the General Assembly, President Bola Tinobu took to the podium. His address made a determined push for enhanced international cooperation and partnership with African nations and other developing countries. So keep faith with the tenets of this world to this body and the theme of this year's assembly. The poverty of nations must end. The pillage of one nation's resources by overreach of farms and people of stronger nations must end. They will, the will of the people must be respected. This beautiful, generous, and forgiving planet must be protected. In a timely speech, the president emphasizes the need for a united front against the theft of Africa's mineral wealth, an affirmation of democratic governance, and ensuring that climate change is addressed with consideration for Africa's economic peculiarities. We desire a beautiful, prosperous, vibrant, democratic living space for our people. We will do it. To the rest of the world, I say, work with us as true friends and partners. Africa is not a problem to be avoided, nor is it to be pitied. Africa is nothing less than the key to the world's future. Now, speaking separately, there appears to be some agreement among these leaders that steps must be taken to address the evolving and unique challenges facing the world. But what many would like to see in the coming days is a commitment to concretize the words spoken here. From New York, Lanre Lassese for Channels Television News.